This week on Tablet at Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the navigation actions to go from sheet, from dashboard to dashboard, and also how to use buttons, and also then how to go from dashboard to dashboard with filters on as well. So the first thing is the navigation actions. So if I click sales, it's going to take me to the sales dashboard. And then if I hit home, take me home. If I hit profit, take me to the profit dashboard. Now hit home, it'll take me home. But if you noticed, when I clicked sales, it doesn't um, it doesn't distinguish between the different um, subcategories, different categories. So if I hit furniture, it still doesn't uh, distinguish between the two. So I'm going to show you how to do the three different actions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the first chart. So we're going to do sales by category over time. So this is our first dashboard and this is going to be called sales. And then we can hide this header at the top and then we're going to just going to duplicate this and change this to profit and change what it says in here to also be profit. And then we're just going to create our other sheets, which is subcategory by sales and then colored by profit ratio. And again, let's duplicate this and do it by profit and sort. So there's our four sheets that we're going to work with today. And we're going to just create our first dashboard. Now I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so we can see it on screen. So our first, so we're going to just call this one sales and profit and then sub cat sales and also, oh, that's sub cat profit, sorry. And then this one's sub cat sales. Now on our first dashboard, we're going to line these up nicely so that they're together. And then we're just going to hide this section and just make that a little bit narrower there. So we've got sales and profit. So this is our high level dashboard. Now, what we wanna do now is again, uh, we want to make sure that you can see this view. So I'm just gonna make it 700 by 700. And we're gonna have our subcat sales in here and fit entire view. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to click on sales and it'll take you to that dashboard. So we go to dashboard, actions, add an action, go to sheet. Now we're going to only use the sales one and then we're going to take it to our dashboard two. And then we can call this go to sales and keep it on the select. So if I hit OK and OK again and I click on sales, it will take me to that sales dashboard. Now I'm going to add in a button here that you can customize an edit button. And if you choose your image, you can use a home image that I've already pre-found. And we want to change this navigation back to our high level dashboard. Again, we can edit this and we can also have a tooltip called home. So now when I hover over, you'll see it says home. It'll take me back. So we're gonna create our, just gonna duplicate this dashboard and we're gonna put um, our subcat profit in here instead. Delete that and fit entire view. Go back to this high level dashboard, dashboard, dashboard actions, add action, go to sheet, from profit, target sheet, dashboard two, two, and change this saying go to profit. Okay, okay. So now when I hit profit, it'll take me to the profit one, which is great. But now if I hit furniture, it's then gonna take me to our sales dashboard, but it hasn't filtered directly to furniture, the category. So the way that I would suggest doing this is if you go to dashboard actions and we want to add a new action, which is a filter action this time from sales, 
to our target sheets. So we change this to our dashboard to on the select. Now what we want to do here is we only want to filter by our category. So we want to make sure our selected fields is category, which is right at the top here. Click OK. And this is filtered. Go to sales. Hit OK and hit OK again. So now when I go to furniture, it'll just show me the furniture. And if I hit home and hit sales, it'll take me to all of those sales. So you have two different actions depending on your audience. That's it for this week.